What's going down, NVIDIA family? Today, Windows 11 is getting more support. My name is Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. Today, we're going to be taking an in depth look at the NVIDIA game ready driver. We're going to be putting them up against the 471.96, which was last episode's for the most returning community members, and the new contender, the 472.12. It's adding a lot of DLSS and a lot of cooler things that are going down for support. So if you're newer to the network, hit the subscription button and company with the notification bell and get ready because we're going to be clearing some benchmarks and some patch notes to size up. Is this driver good? So stick around to the end and let's go ahead and see what is going to be the bit for bit. As we slide over to start the venture into the patch note, we can see that the Game Ready Driver provides supports for the official launch of Windows 11. Yes, Windows 10 is starting to go towards the midsection, and now we're looking towards a new horizon with Windows 11, including in the variety of new features and functionality and enhancing games and the productivity of that. In addition, the Game Ready Driver will support the latest titles and up to date, including Alan Wake Remastered and the NVIDIA DLSS from the boost to the point of 2K times at that 4k range so at that point in time the additional software will also have some pretty cool stuff for the nvidia reflex technology as well as getting ready for the launch of diablo 2 far cry 6 hot wheels on top of the industria new world and world war z aftermath we can see past that situation the applications will support inside of the Maxine AR SDK and the improvement in qualities. The AI driving body tracking portion of the application like the notch. You can see that brings some supports for that of Windows 11. So tons of new additions to what is going to happen to the functionality inside of the game ready driver. But a lot of this is preparation. So it's not going to be like a game ready home run but the benchmarks do prove some pretty cool stuff so right now what we're going to be looking at is watchdogs legions the shutters that may have been incurred inside of the rebarring when it was enabled battlefield 5 comes down to the game crashes with the hdr when it was enabled and redshift 3d the gpu clock it gets stuck inside of the maximum rate nvidia control panel after over installing the driver utilizing the express install and the gpu scaling the 0.59 the factor goes down to the portion of having the panel scaling listed inside of this now you can very well easily access it so leave a comment down below if you still are afflicted by some issues that are plaguing you right now there is some open issues with the new game death loop for the hdr the tdr and the corruption where it came into the Windows HDR enable. If this issue occurs, toggle the HDR setting. No difference than if you're having some issues with your hardware accelerator off and on with certain titles, toggling is your best friend to figure out what's going on because a lot of this is just a few bugs that are in lined up inside of settings. On top of that, the YouTube also has some shuttering with the scroll down but again a lot of these issues are where they have um, workarounds where you can go down to an older OS where it's just mainly it's the browser being not up to speed with the Nvidia drivers they're just out of sync moving on past that we have the Tom Clancy in the division and the two displays inside of the graphics artifact also Sonic all-star comes down to the where they had it last time where was the water it was out a little whack so on top of that, you can see some troubleshooting stuff down below. If you are running into some issues, check this out. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a peek at the benchmarks. We've come down to digest a really cool situation where we can see the newer driver, the 21, uh, which we're in right now, the 2021 have these years of drivers that have been released. And I have not seen something that's really excelled past like what we got in like I mean, 2019, I feel like, was the year where they released, like, a freaking, like, step up where it was just like, wow, NVIDIA, you were holding back that much energy? But moving on past that, we can see that there's some stabilities, but let's take a look at this. The newer driver, which is the 472.12, is on the right. 
The older driver, the 471.96, is on the left. Hardware accelerator on, on the top, and off on the bottom. Now understanding and drinking that in, you can see that, well, the older driver, it does well, but it also has its moments where it picks and chooses where it likes to perform. Hardware accelerator off, well, you're not gonna get your tensor cores in Port Royal, so ray tracing ain't gonna look that good. Ain't gonna look sexy. But if you look at the newer driver, you can see that it really does shine regardless of hardware accelerator on and or off, so it gives you consistency and stability. And imagine if this was on Windows 11, because I'm running this on Windows 10. So, Windows 11, if you have the hardware to run it, is gamed towards the gaming market of acceleration and has a lot of potential, but you need the hardware to do it. I would definitely influence you to check out some of the creators that are out there that have covered that. There's tons out there. It's very cool knowledge. But let's go ahead and go to our Time Spy. This one, it gives a better tale of the older driver at least having some stability with the Windows platform on Windows 10. You can see that definitely the hardware accelerator on wins in both factoids between the newer driver and older driver, but you can see that there's a bigger stretch of performance when the hardware accelerator is on with the newer driver. So, so far the newer driver is consistently pushing forward with the hardware accelerator on and gaining some performance. Now it's not percentage breaking, but it is still point for point performance. Now this is where you see an interesting slide as I bring up this um, chart a little bit more to synchronization, we can see that the newer driver definitely performs across the board with the hardware accelerator off being the more potent performance. Now, if you look at the older driver, it takes the points, takes the score, and with hardware accelerator on, excels. For 1080p versus the 4K, which we just came from, this is showing some very interesting things. So basically, if you're playing on the 1080p format, you may get better performance from the older driver if you're not afflicted by some of the issues that were on that list. But if, you know, at that point in time, that's not the case, then the newer driver would be somewhat optimal for 4K if you are doing more 4K or DLSS upscaling and stuff. So what does Fire Strike look like? With DirectX 11 now on the table, and then let's looking at 4K, Firestrike shows some very interesting performance for improvements in the newer driver and with the hardware accelerator on. So we see consistency. Hardware accelerator on, 4K, any of the departments, you're going to be getting, even with ray tracing, it seems like it's going to be a great combo. DirectX 11, DirectX 12, as long as you're using 4K, this is kind of seeming like your driver. Um, now, for as far as points for points, nothing super spectacular, but yes, you are going to see that it takes the cake for the winning for the newer driver with the hardware accelerator on. So interesting. Um, it ties with hardware accelerator on with the 10K going down, sliding down that freaking slope. You know, you, 1080p, I mean, I, I mean, I know I said 10k, but it's just like a slide down, like the degradation of where we can see what's happening here, because it's like the older driver definitely performs better. Uh, intending 80p and our department of DirectX 11, I'm starting to see the pattern here with this driver. It's not insanely friendly for 1080p, but it's not a game breaker. You know, if you are experiencing some issues, it definitely seems like hardware accelerator on is going to win. Um, but you're gonna have to pick if you are part of the list of fixed or if you're the 4k department then cool This is your driver because when we look at the bread and butter of just regular As you can see here it continues the trend um, Newer driver, it's okay uh, But you know that older driver really favors 1080p as the joke from the 10k slide down of performance We can see that if you really really want better results in the 4k this is your driver if you want better results in 1080p and you want not to be affected by certain issues then yeah the older driver is going to be your best friend but if you are affected by those issues then the newer driver with a little bit of a reduction is going to be the best install ddu i definitely recommend that cleaner installs are the best way to roll out a newer platform of an OS for the game ready driver with Nvidia the way that they provide it. So it's not quite bad as like early AMD driver installs. Holy crap. <laughs>
the horror stories that that happened to be. But you figure, you learn, and it's fun and it's exciting. Which reminds me from my AMD community. Yes, I know there's a brand new driver. The 21.9.2 is going to be filmed shortly after this. So, I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. If you're newer to the network, I would definitely recommend subscribing it's absolutely free it helps me out as a creator and if you do today who knows maybe i'll finally get a brand new gpu because i've been trying to hunt them down like rare mythical pokemon it's like trying to find a mew it's just crazy you can't do it without a game shark and we're paying astronomical prices but i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i will see you guys and gals there